I'm facing up to two years in prison for a crime I didn't commit, while the criminal animal abusers roam free and the state violates my constitutional rights. Back in June of 2020, I joined some friends in Iowa that were documenting conditions in farms across the state. Iowa is the largest pork producer in the country. For every one human in Iowa, there are roughly eight pigs. But even with 23 million pigs in Iowa, you'll almost never see one. That's because they are crammed into industrial sheds on factory farms like this one owned by Iowa State Senator Ken Rosenboom. In fact, it is Senator Rosenboom's farm that these charges are coming from. I never stepped foot inside his facility, yet he's trying to throw me under the bus in a political prosecution. Rosenboom is the epitome of the problem with this industry. Not only does he own a factory farm, but he's written and supported ag gag laws that give additional penalty to those that expose conditions inside of facilities like his. I was supposed to be going to trial at the end of this month, but I'm filing an appeal with the Iowa Supreme Court over a key element to my case. Charges were ultimately brought against me after my phone was unlawfully taken and the contents duplicated onto another machine against my will and without my consent. If my phone would not have been confiscated and unlawfully seized, I would not have been charged. This is an egregious violation of the Fourth Amendment and should be an immediate cause of concern for anyone that cares about defending our constitutional rights. Shockingly, a judge recently denied our motion to suppress evidence taken from my phone, which is why I'm taking this to the Supreme Court in Iowa. I I don't want to go to jail, and I was really looking forward to being done with this whole process. But I'm choosing to appeal because the implications of the ruling reach far beyond myself. It's Rosenboom's company and other animal abusing corporations that should be facing the courts for criminal animal abuse. You can help me elevate this story by sharing this video.